so we are back again with another snack box opening review. This time it's not from Amazon, it's from this company called let's see, snackcrate.com. Ellie found this on the web. Um, so they feature different countries. So when I signed up, um, they let me choose from three countries for that month. Um, I forget what the, I know which one I picked. I'm not gonna tell her yet. I forget what the other two were. But I ordered kind of a little bit later in the month, so not every, not one of the countries wasn't available anymore. So I know what I picked, but we'll see if it really is in here or not. So let's open this up. And this is a monthly subscription box. All right, so let me see. Okay, it's the same country I picked. What'd you pick? So I picked Sweden. So we get to try Swedish snacks. I told I had told Ellie that we hadn't tried any snacks from this country, but I forgot IKEA is from Sweden. We've had food from IKEA before, so oh, it's like the dolly horses. So we've had stuff from Sweden before. So oh, there's a little sticker you can put on your computer. That comes with the that, box. I'm putting that on my computer. Okay, so what's what's in that? Okay, so Sweden, and then open. Oh, it tells you some facts about Sweden, so you get to know a little bit. About the country. What else? There's oh. Don't look at that. All right. So here we go. And I got the. There's three different sizes: a mini, a middle, and a really giant one. I got the middle one. So it says, "Welcome to this month's snacking adventure. Get social with us. Share your snack experience on hashtag Snack Crate." All right. You got your little um, pamphlet. Cheat sheet. Okay. So the first one is. <laughs> this is really fun because we don't really speak Swedish at all. It says O L W Grill Svensk Potatoes. So I'm thinking potato chips. And that's kind of what it looks like on there too. I don't know what flavor it would be though. What does our cheat sheet say? Uh, potato chips with uh, with salt, onion, made from only the finest potatoes. Yeah. Oh, there's grilled onions on the picture in front. Okay, so let's. Get into that. Is it like sour I think, I don't know. All right, let you go first. Get it good. So they're kind of broken, but they look like a regular potato chip. All right, ready? It is like sour cream and onion. Mm, pretty good. It's like ruffles with bridges. There's like ruffles, sour cream and onion ruffles. Jay has to get a taste. Towels on the side over there with our cheat sheet. It's pretty good. That's what it, yeah, that's what I like. These ones are good. I don't like the aftertaste though. I give it a thumbs up. What do you give it? Thumbs up. All right. Okay. Next, do you want to pick the next one? Ooh, these are like gummies. This is Got and Blandad Original. By M Malico. Malico. <laughs> oh, there's like little Swedish fish and little cats. There's all different kinds of shapes and stuff. There's yeah. black ones in here, so I think it's licorice. We're definitely I'm definitely not eating yeah. the licorice one. I don't like licorice. That okay. was that was on this. I got a little oh, like fruit thing. It looks like a little jujube. Then I'll get different. Oh, you got a fish. Oh yeah, I got a sweet. Ooh, that's good. They're gummies. Okay, the red one's good. What colors you got, red? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try an orange mm -hmm. and a yellow too. Let's just your teeth. Mhm. Mm Here's the black one. I ain't trying it. Ooh, what other color? Right here. Well, that's super sour. I'm gonna try these ones. Well, that's sour one. The red's really good. They're really chewy gummies. Ooh, I don't know what flavor this one is. You want that one, don't you? <laughs> I'm try yellow. Okay. You try green. Did you try your green yet? I tried like a light green. I don't know what flavor that is. The yellow is like lemon. All right, next snack. I don't know what <laughs> Same company, Malico. And there's a picture of a monkey on it. Your breast smells good for this gummy. <laughs> it's too hard to say. 
The the jungle raw. <laughs> the jungle raw. Okay. We have no idea why these salty licorice bites are popular, but they are a beloved Swedish snack. Try them for yourself and enjoy. See, I watched some video where some YouTubers went to like Norway and Finland and stuff and they, they had licorice. So I think it's a thing up there. Okay, I'm gonna try it even though I know I don't like licorice. Cause it's a beloved licorice snack. Looks like that. Not even doesn't look like a monkey. Looks like that. You gonna try it? Oh, it really is. It's really salty. It's really salty. You want more black licorice? I'm not ever gonna pass the, the salt. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really, really salty. I ain't trying that. <laughs> like, woo, that's salty. All right, not eating it. <laughs> it's really salty. Okay. Woo! Next. Ooh, I can see this. Oh. Oreo! Okay. Marabo Oreo. Delicious Marabo chocolate filled with chocolate and vanilla cream. So I think Ooh. it's filled with stuff. There's the inside. Can we see? So it's like cookies and cookies. It looks like cookies and cream on the inside. Mm. That's good. Like a snack I'll get for Easter. I get reward for eating the, the salty snack. Wow, that's so salty. Like I usually like salt. That's really salty. Okay. It's so salty. They spelled salt in English. <laughs> this one is by ba let's see. Sora by Bajornar. Bjornar. Sora. By Malico again. Must be their big candy brand over there. Featuring a grumpy green bear on the packaging, these sweet and sour bear-shaped gummies are sure to put a smile on your face. Ooh, sweet and sour. Like, sour? Ooh, they look like- They're like sour patches. They're really bears. tiny though. Look how tiny they are. They're so tiny. I wonder They're how They're really much, tiny. I wonder how sour they are then. There's no sour. <laughs> Oh, my sour. In the middle, sour. Not mine. Not like super sour. But it's a weird texture. It's not jelly. It's not a jelly texture. I like it though. It's not a jelly texture. Oh, this one feels weird. Oh, that one's like weird squishy. This one's stuff. It's a pretty good. It's like liquidy in the middle almost. Oh, jumped out. I have to eat it. It's pretty good. This one, that one was sour. It's like a dry jelly. Jelly candy, right? Like a dried out jelly candy. That's what the texture is like. I don't know about this. Okay. I like them. Okay, what's next? <laughs> nougat. The Bell Nougat by Maribel. Light and soft nougat is combined with a layer of dark hazelnut nougat to create a whatever chocolate snack. I don't know. Delectable? I don't know. I have another Decadent. one. Decadent. Decadent. It's a little melty. Ooh, slide down my fingers. Take a bite. Ooh, it's chewy. Did you say ooh? I think there's peanut butter in it. If you look close enough, I now I can see it. There's two layers. That's hazelnut. Hazelnut. Oh, hazelnut. There's two layers. So there must be a hazelnut layer and a chocolate layer. Not good. Hazelnut is like um, Nutella. Nutella. Mm -hmm. 
It's dark hazelnut. So it's like really, it's like smooth. There's nothing crunchy on it at all. It's, it's soft. Weird. It's really soft. These are all grins Bilar original Accident. since 1953. Accidentally created in 1953 during an attempt to produce marshmallows, these light and chewy candies are molded into the shape of little cars. Little cars? Okay. Let me get out our trusty knife. Okay, let's look at the cards. Ooh, they are fine and fluffy like marshmallows. What color did you get? I got pink and I, green. I got white and just white. It looks like it fits one person. Hmm. It's like a dried out marshmallow. It's really chewy. Oh my god, it's hard. <laughs> Wait, this is. I can see how these were a marshmallow mistake. It's really light, like it doesn't weigh anything. It doesn't taste like anything. It's got a little taste. It's like a little, um, they're not sweet. They got a little, a little flavor in it. They're really chewy. But really chewy. Correct. Like if these were stale, you wouldn't be able to eat them. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> you did a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh, we've had these from Ikea. Ikea Have sells this. Damn. <laughs> no, it's Dame. Oh, my marshmallow got, got a taste, actually. They sell this at Ikea. So you have Ikea where you live? You can get these there. They're like toffee almost. Yeah, that's good. Let's try some. Let's see. So, what, what does the cheat sheet say? Originally known as Dad. <laughs> this snack features... Crunchy almond caramel covered in rich milk chocolate, so like toffee. Toffee, toffee. <laughs> What's it good? It's really good. It's like toffee in the middle. How much snacks do you get in here? One, two, three. Look at the middle one. Eight. We got eight. No, nine. Next one is Kets. Looks like a honeycomb snack again. Okay, a, a crispy wafer is covered in milk chocolate, giving the perfect combination of sweet and crunchy in every bite. Mm. I think last time we had like a honeycomb thing, you liked it. But I don't think no. Crunchy. <laughs> it's like a wafer. Wafer crunchy. Like there's a wafer inside. Right? Good. It's pretty good. Yeah, I would want to try this. One of the bite. The chocolate's not too sweet either. It's good. Mm. This one's by Phaser. Dumble snack original. A delicious combination of foamed caramel mixed with crisp rice, then covered in milk chocolate. Yeah. All the kind of things I like. So, yeah. Is it good? Mm -hmm. How's the foamed caramel? Mm. Crisp rice is not that crispy. Caramel's pretty good. I got three. It's sweeter than that wafer chocolate. Oh, banana. Banana skids. Banana and toffee flavored chew bar. A chewy, stretchy taffy with a taste of banana and toffee in every bite. I like banana. Ooh, I like bananas. I'm gonna eat it. I'll have some of these. It looks like it's sticky. It's like the wrapper's like all stuck to it. Okay, it looks like that. Look, it's bending. Alright. Mmm. 
I like banana. Artificial banana is the best. Next. Last and least. <laughs> Tarragona. Roasted hazelnuts are mixed with creamy milk chocolate for the perfect blend of crunch and sweetness. Oh, look, they're in little pieces. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. When I crack it open, there's nothing inside. So how's it crunchy? Mmm. There's a whole hazelnut inside. So there's a nut in there. All right, what's the capital of Sweden? <laughs> Stockholm. And it was founded in the early 12th century. Stockholm has a population of, or maybe it's the whole country of Sweden. Sweden has a population of 10,112,669 people. I need a drink. Here are some fun facts about Sweden that we get in our little fun book. Sweden has the highest number of McDonald's restaurants per capita in Europe. They have the most McDonald's <laughs> in Europe. Swedes love Donald Duck so much that the government made it illegal to vote for him in elections in 2006. So before 2006, people were voting for Donald Duck in the elections. Every year, the Ice Hotel in Jukarjavravi Kiruno, sorry, I know I said that really wrong, is built from ice taken from the Torn River. Dynamite was invented in Sweden by Alfred Nobel. Namesake of the Nobel Prize. 99% of Sweden's waste is recycled. Save Mother Earth. The sun rises at 3.30 a.m. in the summer and sets at 3.30 p.m. in the winter. Some crazy hours right there. Okay, so in here, on this top page, so remember I said there's three different size boxes you can get for the snack crate. The first one is a mini, and you would get six snacks. Next is the original is what we got. So we have these, these snacks plus these ones here. If we went for the next size up, it would be the premium version, but we would have gotten all these extra snacks. Including this hockey puck. <laughs> and then you can do a drink upgrade and you would have gotten a drink. And that's the drink you would have gotten, which is tro tro Trocadero. It's an orange and apple drink. It was made in the 1950s and is popular throughout Sweden. Pretty cool. Why don't you get a drink upgrade? And then look, it has like picture of Sweden's um, landscape in the back. Pretty. Okay, which one was your favorite? Which one was your right. least favorite? I already know your least favorite. My least favorite was that salty one because it's sitting over there. This was my least favorite. My favorite. Hmm. My favorite was. I'm gonna say my favorite was this Kex bar. Because it wasn't too sweet. Oh, I don't know my favorite. Mm. The banana's not that bad either. My favorite was these ones. I don't know, they were we they're weird but good at the same time. Because they're small. I don't know. I just kept on eating them. <laughs> Alrighty. But I liked all of them except for the ones I didn't try. Alrighty, so that's it for this um, week's snack box tryouts with um, Snack Crate. I'll leave a link for Snack Crate down below if you guys want to try it out too. Alright, so we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.